What's up everyone, uh, Jersey Johnny. Uh, I just wanna give you a quick update uh, for Pinball FX. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe. Uh, we're still giving away that brand new EVGA FTW 3080 Ti. Uh, so we need those members, membership. We need that membership to get up. But uh, our boy Cool Toy, he, he uh, he did all the backgrounds for us for the available tables for Pinball FX. Uh, I'll leave a link to his uh, his download link. Um, the only thing is, what you have to do is when you get when you download his link, it's a zip file. All right, so uh, you'll open it just you know just like normal. Um, in the in the folder, right when you open it up. It's gonna look. I, I gotta do it this way because I gotta show you. I already fixed that one. This, this is what it's gonna look like when you open it up. All these uh, files, right? See that top one, pinballfx.png. That's gonna be like your main menu folder. You have to name. You have to rename that to just pfx.png. Okay. So that's all you have to do. So unzip this to your desktop and then rename that this this pinball FX file to pfx.png. Alright? So then you'll have a nice folder that, that just is back that back glass images. You go to your C drive, Epic Games, Pinball FX, Pinball FX again the mods folder cabinet and you just drag and drop that entire folder right into this folder okay now the only other uh, file that is, is going to be in here is the settings.ini that's when you go into pinball fx you, you go on the settings and you turn on cabinet mode you just got to click on that and it'll create these folders if you don't do that, you're not going to have these folders. So you have to do that, all right? Here's your settings I and I. If you have the at games 1440p play play fields, a 1080p uh, back glass, and a 1080p DMD, that's exactly what you got to put in there as your numbers. Okay? So you double click on that settings I and I. And you put exactly what I'm showing you here, right here. Put those numbers in. Then you want to hit File, Save. Don't forget to save it. All right, and that's it. That's your all your folder. You know, all those are in there, and that I and I is in there. I'm, I'm losing power here. Watch, uh, watch right now. Get to the thing. All right, let me see if I can launch uh, really quick. Get into Pinball FX. Alright. It's loading. Come on, camera, don't die on me. <laughs> the problem we're having, a lot of us, is that cabinet mode's not sticking. Like, it's not staying in. But, uh, that's, it's, it's bugs to be worked out. Come on, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. It should be in, it should be in cabinet mode because you see how it, well, it was already loaded. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> And of course, it wasn't in cabinet mode. <laughs> this is the problem that that we've been having with uh, with uh, with the cabinet mode. So when you come into Pinball FX, unfortunately, you have to do this every time. You got to go to the settings. See where it says cabinet support. You, Click on that, 
and see it says activate you gotta activate it oh it you get you keep having to do it no matter what and then you just right click on your mouse to get or escape to get out of here all right that's what you do first that creates all your fold th those folders for you okay but uh so now we're back at the you know the main thing now watch we'll go back in and there you go see how it's see how the dmd is up there we're in cabinet mode and you got your nice back glass thanks to cool toy and that's the settings for your for your dme that's what that's what i gave you for those numbers okay um let me see let me see if i can get out of here real quick um I, another thing is i went here to gameplay and for for fx3 we used to have to turn dot matrix off um i don't know what the case is here so i just i kept it dot matrix small and and top left you know what i'm saying and the full color so you, you don't have to really mess with that all right so when you uh just remember when you load in you you come into the uh you you launched your pinball fx you click on the options thing click click on cabinet support okay now remember this is your first time doing it so it's it, it'll say just activate right now you can see it's i because we just activated it it's okay but It'll say activate, you click activate, and then you'll escape, exit game, I'm in Papa right now, that's, that's why, uh, that's why that was like that, but, um, then you'll escape, and you'll have those folders that I showed you, so one last time, C, your C folder, Epic Games, Pinball FX, Pinball FX again, mods, cabinet. There you go. There's there's your 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 folder that you're gonna drop all of the cool toy link files into this folder. The only thing you're gonna do, remember that pinball fx.png file that gives you this background, you need to rename that to pfx.png. And here's your settings.ini. If you have the 1440p, 1080p, 1080p setup. All right. And then don't forget, because of the the bug or error or whatever, I'm launching. Look, I'm launching. Uh, I'm launching. What do you call it? Please wait. Popper. And we're going in. Uh, you can see it's turned already, so it, it, it's it's obviously it's in pinball mode, but that doesn't necessarily mean the game is holding. Like you see, these Zen Studios is fine, so it should be in pinball mode. But for some reason, uh, some reason it's you got to keep checking it. So rather than loading the table and then having to come back out, I'm just gonna go to the settings thing up here. Click on it, click on cabinet support, and look, see? I have to activate it again, which you shouldn't have to do. You know what I'm saying? Come on, activate it. Gotta highlight it. There you go. It's unfortunate you gotta do that, but you have to do that. You got to keep activating it. But all it is is a right mouse click when you're done. And then right mouse click again. And it brings you right back to your tables. And it, no matter what now, it should, it should work. And as long as you put in the numbers I gave you, you'll have your, uh, your what do you call it? You'll have your DMD uh, set nice and perfect. And your back glass, nice and perfect. So.
See, it fits, it's nice and it fits perfect. So, those are the numbers you want to use, okay? Sorry for your quickest, but I'm losing my battery. I wanted to get you guys out, get the numbers out there for you as quick as possible. So, enjoy. It's about, it's the best we got right now. So, don't forget, you gotta, you gotta keep activating it every time you, even when you come in from Popper. And if you were loading Popper beforehand and with the old hack, don't forget to rem out the mirror, the mirror hack. You're gonna rem that out because you don't want it. You don't want it covering the the new DMD. All right. So, for people that don't know anything about that, then don't don't worry about that. But for people that did the hack, the mirror hack, you have to rem those lines out. All right. Peace, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, become a member, and uh, we can give away that graphics card. Thirty eighty Ti. All right. Peace.